friends, wizards, witches, and muggles, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today we are back with another advent calendar and this one is one that comes out annually. That's right, this is the Harry Potter Funko calendar. Pop Funko? Funko Pop? Never know which way round it is. Either way, they come out with these every single year and they are different. So the 2022 one is the one with the blue ribbon down it. But either way, I'm hoping for some different characters this time. They are the mini Funko Pops and they do have a little display that they kind of come with and you can do your little thing with them and make them talk to each other. I don't know, I'm making it weird. Either way, this is what we're unboxing today. So if you want to know what is behind every single door, there's 24 of them, then keep on watching. And hey, if you are brand new here, firstly, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. Yes, so aggressive that my glasses slipped down. <laughs> Let's go, because we've got 24 doors to open. Bam! Okay, so here is the advent calendar. Pocket pops these are because they're so small, so small and tiny. And I'm very excited. I'm hoping we get some characters that we've maybe never seen before. That would be cool. The only complaint that I do have about these Funko calendars is they tend to repeat characters in the same character so you can get like maybe three Ronalds, three Harrys. It's like there's enough characters for 24 just different little outfits you know but either way let's open it and see what it has for us this year let's take a look at the stage so every year they give us this lovely little stage and you take them out oh look it's Diagon Alley we've got like Gringotts at the back with a little there's no dragon on it at the moment it must have escaped but either way we've got all the doors and then you plonk them on wherever you want and make like a little display for it. So I am gonna pop it over here. <laughs> pop it, uh, come on, appreciate the accidental pun. Let's get started then with door number one. Let's see who it's gonna be. Oh, I forgot that they're little blind bags so that we can open them together. Okay, who's it gonna be? <gasps> Harry Potter! Come to die! Sorry. Um, this is Harry, and he's got the Sword of Gryffindor, though I must say his little sword's looking a little bit... It's looking a bit bent, isn't it? It's looking a little bit wonky-donky, but there we have it. So we started with the man of the hour, the chosen one himself. Right, door number two. Now, I will say, again, they've done them in number order, so you don't have the fun of hunting the numbers, but either way, door number two. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? It's Hermione Granger. Uh, this is Hermione with her little wand and she's in her muggle, her muggle attire. She's got a lot of hair, a lot of hair. Door number three. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's a dun dun owl. Is this meant to be Errol or Pigwidgeon? Like, what owl is that meant to be? I don't think it's going to tell us either, which is sad, but leave a comment down below. Whose owl is this? It can't just be a random owl. Door number four better be a good one because you guys know by now that four is one of my favourite numbers. Okay, who's it going to be? I swear to God, if this is Gildroy. <laughs> of course, Gildroy is in door number four. Oh, I love him. I love his outfit i love his golden hair that's so funny to me that we got guild drawing number four look at him it's like yes magical me right number five then Ooh. it is draco malfoy in his quidditch uniform and he's holding his little broom which is probably like a nimbus 2001 potentially either way he's got his slick backed hair there's his butt. There we go. Draco, you can be friends with Gildroy. Door number six. Oh, oh, nice. We've got, I say nice, not very nice at all. But we have got Rita Skeeter. She's got her glasses on. Um, and her little, she's got her little feathery quill, her green one, and her outfit, and her little shoes, and her curly hair. That's actually a really good one. Okay, we're seeing characters that we have not seen before in this calendar. I'm pleased with that. So you and Gildroy can make a little club over there. Door number seven. 
Okay, we've got Ronald Weasley. Oh no, that's Fred or George. Look at the little, look at the little briefcase he's holding. I think that says Weasley and Weasley. So it's one of the Weasley twins. So I'm hoping that we have another Weasley twin because you can't have one without the other. Right, door number eight is, oh, is it Professor Quirrell? Is it Professor? Oh, it's Professor Quirrell. Look at that. He's got his little turban on. He's got his little hands together. Pop, 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 Potter. I like that. Another one that I've not seen before. Okay, number nine. I'm hoping that we get some more like animals. Is it another Harry? I think it might be another Harry. It's another Harry. This is just basic Harry with a wand. Again, all of the things he holds are a little bit <laughs> a little bit wonky um but yeah he's got his little glasses on he's got his Gryffindor uniform okay we don't need two Harrys like look we've got two Harrys they're very similar as well they're just holding different things you could have used different character either way let's move on to door number 10 is it another Hermione it might be <gasps> oh no it's Bellatrix this is Bellatrix Lestrange. She's got her wand, which to be fair, is the straightest out of all the wands that I've seen today. And that's the one that should be bent because Bellatrix's wand is very curved. But there we have it. Look at all her hair. Oh, her hair feels really different compared. Everyone else's feels smooth. This kind of feels a little bit rough. It's a little bit matte. But there we have it. I love her little outfit as well. She's got like um, a Death Eater outfit on. Very nice. Okay, door number 11 then. What is Heidi? Oh, we got another Ginge. Is that Molly? That's gotta be Molly, right? That's Molly. I was like, is it Ginny? But no, that's Molly. Molly Weasley. Look at her hair. I mean, they've made Molly look a little bit youthful. Okay, door number 12. Who's it gonna be? And door number 12. Or should I say, what is it in door number 12? Whoa! They have made this calendar a lot more exciting than some of the previous years. This is the dragon that likes to... Is it the dragon that likes to sit in Gringotts? It is, isn't it? It's the one on top of Gringotts. Either way, it's got the chains. It's got some injuries. Oh, I do feel sorry for the dragon that gets kind of kept in Gringotts. But either way, there it is. That's a really nice one. That's a really good one to get. Okay, number 13. I'm seeing some blonde. Is it Lucius? Is it Daddy Malfoy? <gasps> it is Daddy Malfoy. Look, he's got his cane and all. He's got his little cane, which is also his wand. Uh, another wand that I don't have in my collection. But yeah, Daddy Malfoy. Welcome. Welcome. Door number 14. <gasps> is it the other Weasley twin? Yes, it is. He's got some skiving snack boxes. Selling his wares all around the castle. Do you want some nosebleed nougat? Door number 15 then. We've got, we've got some, we've got some boots. We've got, it's one of the Gringotts goblins. It's one of the bank peeps. There it is. Uh, again, fresh pops that we've not seen before. I love the little glasses. Love his little quill and his little bank book. Cool. Okay, door number 16. There's gotta be some more exciting ones in here. She says as she opens the third Harry of the advent calendar. This is Harry in his Quidditch uniform. He's actually holding a very tiny golden snitch and he's got his Nimbus and yeah, he's in his Gryffindor kind of Quidditchy robes. I quite like that one, but it is another Harry. Okay, door number 17. I'm hoping for a flocked one. We've had flocked ones in the past and they're like really special. Okay, I swear, if this is another Gildroy, it's another Gil, I mean, he'll be happy with that. The more him, the better, right? This is him in his classic blue cl cape. But yeah, we've got two Gildroys of all the people to have. Look at his perfect hair. That's so funny. Okay, door number 18. I'm hoping for no more Gildroys and no more Harrys, if I'm being completely honest. Who is it? Oh, is it Ginny? Is it Ginny? It is Ginny. It's Ginny from Flourish and Blots. I think that's the cauldron that she has her secondhand books in. I just didn't really recognise her with her hair like that, but it took me a moment. But yeah, that is Ginny. Okay, very cool. Another one that's kind of not been seen before. Door number 19. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? 
it's another Draco. It's another Draco. This is just standard Draco in his house robes. This is him from the back. It's even got the detail of like the hood on there. Door number 20. Let's hope for someone new. Oh, it's got to be. It's got to be Dumbledore. I can tell by his booty. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but I can. Okay, here we have it. Oh my God, look. We've got... Dumbledore with his half moon spectacles. We've got his little wizard hat, which is very cute. I don't know if he's meant to be holding something. His hands kind of like, hmm. I haven't missed anything in one of these bags, have I? I don't think so. Okay, number 21. This is feeling quite big. It's got to be, got to be Hagrid. Oh, there he is, Hagrid. There he is, and he's holding what looks to be a bowl of soup. He's holding a bowl of soup. <laughs> there we have him. Oh, door number 22. No flocked ones yet. Oh, oh. Ronald Weasley. This is Ronald and he's hol holding some textbooks. So I'm assuming it's Ronald. He's not the bookish type, but he is holding some little books right there. Right, door number 23. We're getting so close to door number 24. Who's it going to be? You ready? Ooh! It's Hermione doing the Wingardium Leviosa spell. And it's actually got magic. It's got her little feather that she's practicing with in charms with Professor Flitwick. I love the clear magic on that one. That's really cool. I do like that one quite a lot. Very nice. I do like that. Look at that detail. Really cool. Okay, door number 24 then. Is it going to be a special or is it just going to be just another one? Okay, I'm not sure who this is going to be. Oh, it's Harry with his broken glasses and he's holding... Is that meant to be his birthday cake in the box? Maybe, but yeah, he hasn't quite had his um, Oculus Repero um, spell done on him yet. Either way, love that one, but it's a shame to end on another Harry. I feel as though this one would have been amazing to finish on, the little dragon. But hey, let's take a look at the haul that we got from this Funko Advent Calendar 2022. Okay, so here we have the haul of all of the pop minis, what are they called? Pocket Pops from the Funko Advent Counter Harry Potter 2022. Now my initial thoughts are I don't want to see this many duplicates. We got four Harrys, two Hermione's, two Gildroy's, two Dracos. I just feel like I would rather have 24 separate characters. I don't know about you guys. Do you like the outfit changes? My favorite ones from this calendar is I actually loved the Rita Skeeter one. I know it's um <laughs> I know that it's a choice. It's a choice. But yes, I loved that one because I'd not seen her before. I had adored the dragon. I thought that was a really unique one that we've never seen before. I think that's so, so cool. And I did quite like the Gildroy ones because they amused me. Gildroy Lockhart just amuses me point blank. But yeah, so that is everything from this calendar. Let me know what is your favorite character out of all of these Funko pocket mini medoodle. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I didn't put Bellatrix in. Hang on, I'm gonna put her there. There we go. I thought I might have been missing one. Okay, sorry Bellatrix, but <laughs> so there we have it. Out of all of these, what is your favorite one? I'm definitely going with Rita or the dragon. So leave a comment down below. And if you got this far in the video, five Hogwarts house points to you. And if you don't mind, would you mind giving the video a quick magical thumbs up before you head? Because that would really help me out. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna find how, you're going straight onto my Gringotts shelf. Like look how cute she is or she who knows right thanks for watching guys i will see you very soon bye so many little pops